Example 8.1. A parallel plate capacitor with circular plates of radius 1 meter has a capacitance of 1 nanofarad. At time t equal to 0, it is connected for charging in series with register R equal to 1 mega ohm across a 2 volt battery. See the figure. Calculate the magnetic field at a point P halfway between the center and the periphery of the plates. After T equal to 10 raised to minus 3 seconds. The charge on the capacitor at time t is given by q at time t that is cv into 1 minus exponential minus t by tau where tau that is called time constant and that is equal to rc. Awayyo. Radius of the plates that is 1 meter capacitance that is 1 nanofarad so that is 10 raised to minus 9 farad. Resistance connected in the circuit that is 1 mega ohm that is 10 raised to 6 ohm. After time t equal to 10 raised to minus 3 second, we have to find the magnetic field at this point P which one is halfway to the center and periphery of the plate. Clear? It implies that, see here, radius of the plate is given to you 1 meter, means you have to find the magnetic field at a distance half meter from the center of the plate between these two plates. Now, time constant that is Rc. Now, Q at any time t that is given, that is equal to Cv into 1 minus E raised to minus t upon tau. Now let's first calculate tau. So tau that is r into c 10 raised to 6 into 10 raised to minus 9. That is 10 raised to minus 3. Okay. Now if you want to calculate the magnetic field at point P, then first of all you have to calculate displacement current. Because when we apply ampere circuital law to calculate magnetic field here, then in that ampere maxwell law conduction current will be zero between two plate of the capacitor but there will be the displacement current and using that you can calculate magnetic field at p so let's first calculate a displacement current now electric field between two plate that is q upon epsilon zero a so area that is pi r square and r radius that is given to you 1 meter. So area that will come to pi. Substitute here value of area pi. You will get electric field that is q upon pi epsilon 0. Now flux passing through the loop of radius o p. Okay. So phi e that is e into again pi radius square radius of that loop that is op so pi op square so e that is q upon pi epsilon 0 into pi radius that is half means op that is half square of it so you will get a flux passing through the loop that is q upon 4 epsilon 0 now displacement current through that particular loop that is epsilon 0 d phi by dt that is epsilon 0 d by dt of phi phi that is q upon 4 epsilon 0 so 1 by 4 epsilon epsilon 0 is cancelled d by dt of qt so 1 by 4 d by dt now substitute q that is equal to this cv minus cv into e raised to minus t by tau so 1 by 4 now differentiation of cv cv is constant so that is 0 then for this second term minus cv as it is differentiation of e raised to something 
that is always e raised to something. So differentiation of e raised to minus t upon tau as it is. But now in this power time is there. So we have to differentiate power separately. Now differentiation of t that is equal to 1. So this power that will be in multiplication here with minus 1 upon tau. Now, finally here you will get the equation this minus minus plus CV upon 4 tau e raised to minus t upon tau. C 10 raised to minus 9 battery that is with 2 volt so 2 then 4 tau that is 10 raised to minus 3 here we calculated it then e raised to time that we have to take 10 raised to minus 3 second tau calculated 10 raised to minus 3 so finally you will get half into 10 raised to minus 6 into e raised to minus 1 this is your displacement current now ampere maxwell law integration b dot dl that is equal to mu 0 into ic plus id but between two plate of the capacitor conduction current is 0 so here IC equal to 0 and ID as it is. So now B integration DL that is 2 pi into radius. Radius that is OP. OP that is 1 by 2. So 1 by 2 and this 2 is cancelled. And on right hand side mu 0 ID. So B that is take this pi on right hand side. So mu 0 upon pi into ID. Now substitute all the values. Mu 0 that is 4 pi 10 raised to minus 7 pi half 10 raised to minus 6 and e raised to minus 1 that is 1 upon e then substitute value of e and pi you will get magnetic field at point p clear to